is that all the blessings are given in our Holy Bible, which is true and without any error, and it's uh, living in an active soul. Uh, the way we receive the blessings is through the cross of Jesus Christ. And by grace, every blessing belongs to us, and by faith, we receive it. So please receive this blessing from Psalms 128, and this Psalms has been a great blessing to my house and household. So um, it's a word which is living and active, and I, um, I want to dedicate it to you guys and to use it in your household. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful wine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life, God. We thank you, Lord, for Samuel and Lucas and the entire family and friends who are gathered here to celebrate the best day of their life as they start a new chapter within you. We thank you that Lucas fears you. We thank you, Samuel fears you, Lord. And therefore, we declare the blessings of Psalms 128 on them. We declare Proverbs 31 on Samuel, Lord. We pray, Master, that your grace will be sufficient for them all the days of your life, that your goodness will go before you. We pray for every person who is seated here, Master, that the power of the Holy Spirit will fill them and drive them, Father God. Guide them, guard them, and protect them in everything that you do. We thank you, Lord, that you brought them here with a plan and a purpose and an assignment. And therefore, Father God, we receive your blessings through your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we declare this to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It was a teenage wedding at the old song Christian Bell. Well. You can see the PM in school because the man of
continue to grow this family. Thank you again, Lord, for letting us just to enjoy this wonderful, beautiful time without you and Lewis. And just thank you so much for uh, this, the, the hosts, and just for the wonderful time we spend here. Fill us with your spirit and just allow us, Lord, to really enjoy the beautiful world you put us in. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm glad we got to spend the last two days uh, celebrating our marriage. I've been married for four years. I can't wait to spend many more with her. Thank you for coming from Kansas City, India, Singapore, and even California, if I missed any. Probably a bunch of other states that are not coming to my mind. But um, thank you for coming here. I just want to say thank you to my parents for finally coming around to welcome and visit her family. <laughs> they are so incredibly generous to throw a three-day event just to celebrate our love. And I would not want to be celebrating a love like ours with anyone else. And I couldn't love anyone else the way I love with you. Thank you for being And I also want to shout out a special thank you to Uncle Jesse, who, from the first time I ever introduced Lucas to him, I knew that he was the one that was going to, in, in, right, to unite us in marriage in front of all my people that I love. But there's also a very special person that me and Lucas wouldn't be a couple without. You know who that is? It's not my fault. I've got nothing to do with it. It's not planned. All right. Oh, man. Let's go eat. Who between the both of you made the first move? Oh, okay. Good. Awesome. That was right. You guys got it right. Um, who's the first to apologize? Oh, awesome! That's so sweet. Okay, and who's the most romantic between? Oh, good job! Who said I love you? Oh, okay. Who said I love you? <laughs> okay, who's really scared? of things. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, who loves their culture? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Both of you love the culture. That's good. That's awesome. Um, anything that the audience wants to ask them? Any question? Oh, okay. Who's the first to do the dishes? Lucas, okay. That's awesome. Um, one more from the audience. One more question. Awesome. Give it up for them. They almost got every question high. And then what we do, we just tie a knot um, on the bride's hand. And um, Lucas is going to try to remove the knot, but just with one hand. So, you know how life is all ups and downs, so you have to, you know, kick in there and, um, you know, let's see how you take out the knot, okay? So I'm going to tie it on it.
That's one minute over. That's one minute there, Chris, she said. Okay. We have one more minute. One more minute.
say, do you love me? I tell her only one nigga. I only love my baby.